and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate video, guys. And today I'm going to be going over the Zero Chill Ultimate Freeze presence. Everything that revolves around that promo. Yesterday, I did do the Mutt content review for the month of December. That covered everything, like Series 4. That covered Christmas. That covered Blitz. I'm going to be specifically giving you guys all the in-depth details on Christmas. I just I didn't go all the way in-depth. I kind of just went generalized. I'm going to go over what you should be expecting because this might drop earlier than we expect because last year it did drop on the 6th, which is in two days. I don't think it'll drop that late or that early this year, but it is coming soon. So I'm going to go over everything. I have a whole checklist here of things I need to talk about. And this is how I'm going in order. Like last time, the yesterday's video, I just covered a broad spectrum. So I'm going to be going over everything in-depth, the structure, pretty much how it worked, the cards, everything you guys need to know about this. Now, guys, if you guys didn't already know, this is the 25 days a pood miss guys that was you guys coined that name we're doing daily giveaways every day up until the final day of december now as you guys know the, the rewards increasingly keep getting better so keep showing support keep entering the giveaways and i will keep increasing it now guys all you got to do to enter as you guys do know i will be saying a secret word throughout the video all you got to do is go back when you hear the word comment down below like the video and hit that subscribe button if you're subbed you liked and you commented down below the word you're entered to win now originally i wasn't going to do sub to win because i don't like doing that but the thing with this is that I feel kind of bad that I'm just I'll go give it away to random guys who just click on my vid for giveaways. I want to be able to make sure I'm giving back to people who you know are part of the family. So, so make sure you sub. If you're new, come join the family. Comment down below whatever the secret word is. Make sure to like that video. And today's obviously 30k. As we get closer to Christmas, I will be increasing all the way up to gift cards and bigger coin awards. So so far it's just coins. We're gonna work our way up as we get closer. So it's gonna be almost like you know understand. It's gonna be bracket rewards. So make sure you enter. Stay tuned sometime throughout the video for the secret word. Now let's get into this video. So first things first, guys. I have it here. So. First things first is going to be the ghost of future, past, and present. The snow beast in the out of position. So I'm going to go over the bracket way they did it last year. So last year when they first released it, we originally got our solo sequence. Solo sequence was simple. You play the solos, you get presents. That was one cool thing. Some of the solos gave you random presents, which was cool because some people can't afford to go actually use their coins to buy presents and stuff. So having this feature was cool because it was like, wow, like, a no money spend guy can just go in there and maybe earn the best present honestly the you know the odds of actually pulling the best ones are kind of rare but it still was cool to have it means you can still participate in the promo so make sure you're getting your solos done knowing the way madden is they'll probably be daily solos or riddles for free presents so make sure you're getting those done and the time comes now actually the way they set it up initially was they did drop the out of position first so obviously it would be like this you come over to team you go over to sets and it worked like this when you're in sets instead of like harvest here it'd be Harvest Master would say OOP Masters. Now that was the out of position player. So last year they bracketed. They did Harvest out of position first. Then they did the, the zero chill stuff. Then they did the Ghost of Future Past and Present. So and if they're probably bracketed the same way, Christmas is usually a massive promo, like three weeks. It covers a lot of different segments. So first gonna be the OOP most, most likely. Last year, one of the masters for OOP was Walter Payton quarterback. And those guards weren't that high overall. They started at like a 90, which kind of sucked because we couldn't use a lot of them. But it still was cool because you got guys like Julio Jones, wider, uh, Julio Jones free safety, Odell Beckham Jr. quarterback, Walter Payton quarterback. Maybe this year we're going to get a Vita Vey fullback. A lot of cool potential for that. So if they do the out of position first, you're going to get all the cool players out of the way first. Then they dropped the zero chill. Now the zero chill aspect of it was like the middle part of the promo. That's like the, the regular cards. So to give you guys reference, the zero chill would be like would be like these cards, the turkey stuffers, like the 92 overalls and 93 overalls. Like so last year, I think believe the masters were like Chad Ochocinco and maybe I think Dick Putkus. So that was the middle. That was a zero chill. Those guys were like the set pieces were all like 92, 93s. They were like Lane Johnsons. There was like let's say Terrell Suggs. And then there was the main guys, which were Dick Buckets and Chad Ochocinco. So that's the second part of this promo. Now, the third part of the promo was the Ghost of Future set. So there was three whole sets, bracketed week by week. Now, the Ghost of Future, past and present, is the most exciting part of it. But to start with the out of position, like I said, they probably will max out like 91, 92 over max. I don't think they'll get any higher. Those are just the cool cards you can play around with Odell at quarterback and stuff. Decent card, probably a Taysom Hill quarterback card, Taysom Hill wide receiver, whatever they end up doing with him. Then, like I said, the zero chill probably will max around 94, 95 overalls again. And then the ghost of uh, future, past, and present, those go from like 93s to 96s. Now, the way it worked with that was specifically when they had their own set, there was the ghost of future, past, present cards. So now the ghost of future cards are pretty much rookie cards that people think will be good in the future. Ghost of present are cards that are amazing now and ghost of well, players and ghost of past were cards that used to be great. So for ghost of future last year, we got guys like Sam Darnold, Hayden Hurst, Saquon Barkley, Baker Mayfield. Now those were 93 overalls. Then we got the ghost of present. Those were guys like, let's say Aaron Rodgers, uh, Christian McCaffrey, and a few guys like that. And then ghost of past would be like Randy Moss. We got Ed Reed, 
you guys get the point. So the secret word for this video that you guys have to comment down below is snowflake. So don't forget to comment down below snowflake, your console, like the video and hit that subscribe button boys. So I gotta do to enter. So the way they did it was when they bracketed it, they did it with LTDs and regulars. So it was ghost of future LTDs and ghost of future regular. The regulars were 93s, the LTDs were always a plus one overall. So it'd be LTD Baker Mayfield ghost of future, 94 overall. Then for the 94, uh, 94 overalls, it'd be like, and so it goes to present, it'll be like McCaffrey and stuff. And then their LTD would be one extra higher also, like 96. And then same thing with the past, they'll start at 96s and their LTDs are 97s. It was, it was pretty much bracketed like that. We got Barry Sanders last year. A lot of cool things dropped during this time period. I believe Randy Moss was one of the LTDs. Now, the cool thing about these cards is that there's, there was a set in the store last year to get them. So you were able to re-roll them, which was really fun. So the currency would be probably Snowflakes. Now, Snowflakes is the placeholder. It could be, it could be like Snowmen. It could be little presents. It could be a lot of cool things we don't know. Maybe little jingle bells. But for the time being, it, it was snowflakes and pretty much they were reroll sets. So it would be 95, it would be like Ghost of, uh, Ghost of Pass cost you 12,000 snowflakes. Now it was cool because if you pulled the, if you pulled the bad one, you lost like 2,000 snowflakes. If you pulled, you could pull an LTD though. So then you could, people were rerolling to pull LTD Randy Moss, which I did know lost a lot of coins. I wouldn't advise against that, but that was one of the cool features of it. So on top of that, there was also the solos, like I said, for presents. There's probably gonna be daily solos. Knowing Madden, the way they set it up this year, there'll probably be riddles, like I said. And don't worry guys, I got you covered with all the riddles for presents. And if you collect all those, you might have a decent return on presents. Now let's cover the presents. The presents last year were pretty awesome. So the way the present system works is that pretty much in the store that they did last year, there was a present store offer. So it was like, let's say 150 snow per present. Now that seems like a little bit, but snow was pretty much, I believe, double the value of training. So like 150, 150 snow is more like 300 training, or I should say, I forget how it works. But you guys, you guys will understand when the time comes. I don't know how they're gonna bracket this year, so it's hard to give you guys an exact number. But pretty much, it was 150 snow for one present. So let's say I, I would take Sam Darnold. Sam Darnold quick sold for like 3,000 snow. Let's just say. So I could sell him. I could open up about give or take 17 packs. Let's just say I'm, I'm, I'm rounding here. 17 packs off of Sam Darnold. So now no, the present, I open them. I open them. They could be really bad, but you don't know them, right? Because these, these presents are random. Now I'll explain the whole present system afterwards. But to get across this, pretty much you get random presents. Now the beauty of this last year was that. The pull rate was pretty high on presents last year in comparison to what it's been in years past. So like you'd, you'd open 15 straight, right? Like five would be really bad, five would look decent, and then it'd be that one, you'd get that big purple box. That was the Ed Reed, which we didn't know at the time. So we the, commu the community eventually guesses them. They have a pretty good idea of what they'll be based on riddles and clues on them, which I'll get over in a second. So once we had the idea that the purple box was like one of the main ones, we can expect that if we at least pull one of those big boxes in every set of 15 we open, let's just say, we know we're making our money back. So that's when I was able to say, okay, cool. So if I got two purple boxes out of 15, I made at least double my coins and we open more. So last year, like I said, I made 10 million coins doing this because this was the best way to make coins last year. Every YouTuber and their mothers were spamming these packs. They were so profitable. So the way this works is when you want to see what the presents are going to be, you take screenshots of them and you put them into Photoshop or any editing software and you go zoom in on them. They're, they Madden likes to put clues in them. So every year there's like an Easter egg hunt for these presents to figure out what they are. They're super cool. One of the most fun times of Madden. So the purple box had like a Ravens logo and a past word on it. Now you have to find, they're hard to find. You got to zoom in, put the opacity down, put the brightness up. You got to do a bunch of little things to find out the clues. But when you do find them, they're often fun. So the Madden community came to a consensus of what were the rare ones. They did a pull rate. You can also tell by the ones you pull, right? If you have a hundred of these little gold boxes, it's probably a pro pack. If you only have one purple box out of a million coins spent, that's probably one of the better ones. In years past, they've had like Bo Jackson presents and other presents that wrap around that. So there's always something cool. I don't know how they'll do it this year. I did really like the system for last year, but don't worry guys, on the channel, I will have for you guys the presents, the clues and everything we know, the rarity. I'll have everything for you guys when the time does come. Super excited for the presents because it's obviously always a really cool aspect of the Christmas promo. But as far as presents go, I don't know what the pricing will be this year. But remember, the best way to make coins during the Christmas promo is always by flipping snow. So remember that I will have videos for you guys when the time comes. But since the, it costs snow for the presents, snow value skyrocketed when the present set dropped. So personal recommendation, I pick up some snow. I don't actually convert it to snow. Hold the players because you want to be able to sell them because people are going to go for It's like training. When a training offer comes out, it's going to come out and it's going to go up in price because people want the training. So don't, I wouldn't use your snow. I wouldn't convert anything to snow right away. Next thing they're going to have is the snow beast. Now the snow beast were solo sequences. So pretty much there'd be a solo sequence of four players. There was like Herman Moore. There was uh, that center, Kevin Maway, a few guys. And you do the solos, just like the legend solos, and you get their power up back. Now their power up wasn't a typical power up. It was a snow beast power up. This power up was like a 70 overall. And to power it up, you needed snowflakes. You couldn't use training. And you could power it up to like a 94 overall. And it was like, oh wow, okay. So you get a 94 overall. Now that one was pretty cool, but there was even a cooler one. So the snow beast came around the zero chill time, which gives you guys four guys you can get for snowflake. And you do get snowflakes in the solos. So you were kind of able to make one for borderline free. 
and with house rules this year we can expect we'll probably get some more free also now the next one that came out were ghost of madden cards just like snow beast they were 70 overalls we could power them up so then they dropped the new solo sequence and this one was michael vick champ bailey and tony gonzalez i might be missing someone so these are even cooler because michael vick you know it's a big drop so pretty much when those came out you played the solos and you used snowflakes to upgrade them you could upgrade them to a 96 overall so those are cool they'll probably end up doing the same thing this year where they drop some big name legends like tony g champ bailey and michael vick and you can get them all the way up for pretty pretty for a decent price probably like 250 300k but it's worth it for a 96 michael vick so that's probably what they'll end up doing this year too so there'll be snow beast the ghost of madden snow beast the zero show the out of position and they will have the um ghost of future madden past now there will be ltds expect that too there'll be like past ltds present ltds um future ltds they'll probably zero show ltds gonna be a lot of ltds more than likely they drop a lot last year and then there'll also be uh, there'll probably be, there'll be the series four update somewhere within this whether or not it starts right before or after and then there will be the blitz promo they will have more than likely a christmas blitz they, they're not dumb they know at christmas every kid's getting microsoft points every guy's using their money the currency so there should be a blitz but the blitz for christmas isn't a money grab the one for the blitz for uh, thanksgiving hot black friday that one's giving me your money the christmas one was not bad the christmas ones with snowflakes so remember that's why snowflakes are so important if you have a lot of players i recommend investing in snowflakes investing in cards for snowflakes and then selling them back when the blitz starts but in there i think i pretty much wrapped up everything I think I just covered the bulk of it. That pretty much wraps up everything. If you guys have anything else that you guys want to add into this that I missed, comment it down below. Now, remember, guys, before you hit on this video, make sure you go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that noti bell. And remember, comment down below the secret word, like the video, and hit that subscribe button to enter the giveaway. Remember, if you're not subbed, you cannot win because I want to give back to you guys for the, you know, 25 days of Christmas. I'm giving gifts to the, the fam. And so just make sure to sub, comment, secret word, and your console. It's important. So I know exactly who I got to give the coins to and what console to use for this. That's about it, guys. Hope you guys saw the secret word. If not, go back and figure it out. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.